In today's video, we're going to talk about why I gave in to one of the most recent trends in armored combat. Alright, so what could that trend be? Well, it's finally happened. I finally switched over to a wolf rib helmet. Anyone who's followed my fighting over the last few years since I've started the sport has seen me fighting in a nasal helm, this helm here in fact, the entire time. This is the helmet I've been fighting in. Uh, most people who've seen me fight have seen it with a red checkerboard on one side. That has been taken off due to the league I've been fighting in that didn't allow for painted helmets. That's a whole different story. Uh, but this is what I'm wearing for a very long time. Um, six years of fighting is the same helmet. Uh, it has served me well, uh, but I finally moved on to a new helmet. So I switched over to the wolf rib, to the dreaded, boring, football face looking wolf rib. So I want to talk about why I did that, my reasons and rationale for it, um, and talk about some of the differences now that I've been fighting in two different helmets. Many fighters have had the experience of using different helmets over the years. I haven't. I got one when I started. It worked pretty good. I stuck with it. Um, so let's talk about a couple things. Uh, the nasal helm I have here. I have no idea who the maker is. I bought it used when I first started in from a guy who started the sport and left pretty much immediately. So it's essentially new. Um, it's been a good helmet. It served me well. It's sturdy. It's strong. It's taken some big hits. It's got a few little dents. It's still serviceable. In fact, I'm selling this to a newer fighter uh, in our, in our, at the hall, um, who's going to hopefully take this and fight with it for a while, and it'll be their first helm, and that'll be great. One of the things I love about the sport is you can pass on equipment, and you get to still see it being used. There's nothing broken, no damage beyond repair, anything like that. It's just a used helmet that's still in pretty good shape. So you might be asking, why did I change? And here's the, the biggest, I have two real reasons. One is personal, and one is due to some of the league rules. So the personal one is this helmet was bought used and it was never built to my head. I've never had a helmet that fit me specifically. I've added a lot of extra padding in here and fit it and form fit it a little bit, but it's never been perfect. Um, and that's the case for anyone who buys used gear, their first helm when they're getting started. If you can get a helmet at a decent price that's safe and that does fit you, that's got all the safety straps and things on it. Uh, that you're comfortable with. I don't think you need to have a custom fit helm to start, but I have been fighting a while. I've been using this and I wanted that little bit of extra uh, comfort, extra security, extra, well, you know, it doesn't slide around as a little bit. Like I just saw a helmet really fit me, so it's time to buy a new helmet. So that's why I went with a new helmet. That's the reason for the new helmet. Why did I go with, get away from the nasal and go with the wolf rib? Um, nasal visibility is fine for me. It's got good visibility. Breathability is probably fine. This is just chain mail. You can breathe right through it. There's no uh, breathability disadvantage at all. There is a little bit for me of an advantage uh, for visibility in the wolf rib. Uh, not significant, but it's there. So that was part of it. The big reason, though, is um, some of the league rules they fight in, they require you to have chain mail over your aventail for this type of helmet. So you can't just have the chain mail up front here. In fact, I have a separate piece of chain mail here that will go over this. And it'll be sewn down. It's not going to fit that, obviously, but it'll be sewn down to fit over that aventail. And this just added a lot of weight, and I didn't like it. Right? So I was looking at a new helmet anyway. It's been time to buy one. And for me, having a helmet that didn't have any drawbacks as far as... Uh, weight uh, as far as requiring that chain mill aventail you can't have a cloth one you can see it's got the neck plates on it actually has a really nice um, lobster tail neck plate on the back I don't know if you can see it because it's blacked out yeah you can see it goes underneath there that fits in uh, that's super protective I'm going to leave that on for the next guy who gets this helmet uh, but in the end it was just a kind of heavy helmet when you added the chain mail and it's a little bit of a heavier helmet um, I wanted something to fit me new and it was time to go with a new helmet so, that's why I went to a new helmet and why, and the reason I went the nasal was really just, I don't like the chain mail around my neck. Nothing wrong with it, a lot of guys fight with it. Um, it's just, to me, it's added weight. Um, I didn't love it. I did like it for a while when they let you fight with just the chain mail over the front grill here. Um, as long as it was on nice, but that is no longer allowed. You have to have the full chain mail piece. Um, funny to me because as far as I know, nasals never had full cages. They were just a nasal helm and we kind of modified it for sport and then we made a rule that you have to have chain all the way around it. But that's the way it is. 
Um, I mean, out of the nasal is essentially very much a similar grill to a wolf rib. There's a, there's a bar grill underneath here that we've now covered with chain mail to make it look, you know, quote unquote more medieval. But, so I was getting away from that, I was going to do helmet belt. Why did I go with a wolf rib? Um, I went with a wolf rib, one of the primary reasons was the cloth aventail. So I have a cloth aventail, I got it made in my nice executioner colors, I love this. And I still have the protective plates. Uh, underneath here, so it's got it's actually got titanium plates, so a little bit lighter. It's got a really nice protective neck plate, so I still have all the safety uh, gear on it. But it's a little bit lighter around the neck. It doesn't get bound up as much for me. I like the look better a bit. So that was part of the reason. That's all primarily superficial, right? But after having a lot of my teammates uh, wearing wolf ribs and seeing it, um, and seeing the extra visibility you do get looking low more freedom in the fact that I'm really here to sport optimize this sport for myself. I like the historical aspect, but that's not my primary driver. I like fighting in armor. I like the competitiveness. I like the violence of it and the aggression. And I want to be in the sport in a way that I am, you know, able to perform my best. And I saw that. I thought the maze, well, how the wolf rib was the way to go. So I got this wolf rib. I really like it. It's got this kind of, um, uh, what do you call it? A brass knuckle look in front on it. It's a really cool design. There's a few little things I love. I can't really show, but there's a little kind of chin cup here of metal that sits right below there, which is an extra protection. You can't see it, but it means that nothing is getting underneath. I, my neck is very protected. It goes like right down here. So I love that. Um, it's, you know, it fits me perfectly. And that was really the thing. It's the first helmet I've had made that was made to my head dimensions, right? So this fits me perfectly. Um, I really, really love it. It came all uh, well done, came together. I actually wrote down the name of the maker because I keep forgetting it. And if I say it wrong, I'm sorry, Ivan, but it's Ivan Zadesnets, Z-A-D-E-S-E-N-E-T-S. -E -E Ukraine builder built this for me, shipped it to me. Great customer service, super personable, super helpful. In fact, we had an issue with getting the money over to them. Some of the uh, ways I sent it kept getting rejected for some reason. He actually sent me the helmet. Uh, while still waiting for the payment, because he, uh, he, it took a while to get there, and I, I wouldn't recommend doing that, Ivan, in the future make us pay, but I was already on the way when I got the money to him, which was super nice of him. So this helmet is great. Again, um, what are the downsides? The downsides for me, the one thing I'm worried about is eye safety. There is a blacked out eye bar here. There's a single eye bar in each. For melees, not worried about this at all. It's going to be very hard to get anything into those slots with the melee type of weapons that axes and thick bladed falchions and things like that. Um, duels, yeah, I'm a little nervous with some of it. I don't fight a ton of duels though. Um, I fight mostly for fun stuff. I don't fight a lot of them. Melee is what I focus on, so for me, I'm not as concerned. I hope someday we can upgrade the rules to allow multiple eye bars, and that is considered not historic. I think that would be a great safety feature. And if they do, I might get one welded inside of here. Um, so that's you know kind of what I've gone with. Um, it's got a two chin um, strap. So this other one I did, I modified the chin strap. It basically has a football cup type of strap in it, uh, which worked pretty well, but would slip every once in a while. This is a two strap system. So one strap goes around the back of the head under the chin, uh, above the chin, and one goes down here under the chin. I love it. It's a little more complicated to get on, but it stays really well. And I've had like really loved it in a like, few uh, melees and other finance I had it. Uh, the only modification I did to it was I took my Simon strap off of my um, my other helmet and I attached it to the Simon strap here. So it actually came with the Simon strap, which I love, and then I added on my particular buckle system. So this buckle here, this is actually uh, my dog uh, who passed away a few years ago. This is their collar, and I so I have their collar on, on going into battle with me. My dog goes into battle into my fight and attaches to my brake. For those who don't know what a Simon strap is, Simon strap is an extra strap for safety that connects your helmet to the back of your metal brig so that if your helmet were to get pulled off, it will keep the helmet on your head. Uh, it's a requirement in some leagues, not in others. It's a personal requirement for me in all circumstances because I don't want my helmet ripped off. I was at an event uh, in Grapes of Wrath in Virginia where I ripped a guy's helmet off, um, right off his head, because it didn't have any extra straps. Came up behind him, I grabbed him to do a throw, and his helmet just popped right off. Thankfully, no one was swinging at him at the time, but that is a thing that scares me. Um, so that's a, you know, I would recommend everyone add a Simon strap. It takes like a minute to literally rivet in an extra strap, and just make sure you have that extra bit of safety. 
Uh, this is well made. Love it. Uh, super happy to have it. I have gone and joined the Wolf Rib Gang. Uh, the least authentic looking helmet, in my opinion, the one that looks most like a sport. But being someone who did football and played other sports my whole life, I don't care. I kind of like it. And for me, it's the visibility, breathability, comfort, fit, uh, lightness in the shoulders. Uh, it just feels better. Anecdotally, I have no evidence for this to be scientifically prove, uh, true, but I do think because this helmet didn't fit me as well, I did get often my neck pulled a little bit more in different ways. I fought two full melee events in this one since then, and a couple times got in rough positions and didn't have a soreness in my neck that I often get. I have a previous neck injury, which I have to be extra careful with. Don't think that would bother most people, but I think because this fits so much better, um, it doesn't it doesn't have the same problems, which is super good for me. Love this helmet. I gave in. I'm now a wolf rib guy. Sorry for all the people who liked my nasal. Um, am I going to put the checkerboard back on it? Honestly, probably not as of right now because the leagues I'm fighting in don't let me do it. I don't want to paint it and remove it over and over again. I'm looking at some other potential options that might be uh, legal within the rule set. If you have questions about armor, questions about the sport, you want to learn to fight, you want to join a league, comment, uh, message me. You can find me on Facebook under Woodchuck Knight as well. I'm happy to help there. If there's a link down below where you can buy my shirts and merch to help support my channel, like, subscribe, follow, all that wonderful stuff. Thanks again for watching and I hope you all have a great day.